All right. This is going to be a cold start, I guess, of a 2008 Mini Cooper Clubman S. It's got the turbo, and it's got a Magnaflow uh, cat back, stainless steel cat back exhaust on it. Um, this is the first year for the Clubman, it was 2008. Uh, this car was ordered with the wiper delete, which is pretty rare to see. You know, wipers were an option to not have, but they came standard on all cars. Um, the badges have also been removed for a cleaner look. Um, what else does this thing have on it? It's different than you might see. Um, some paint, you know, color matching and stuff like that. Um, it's got the color match roof, which is pretty cool. You don't see that too often, especially in the blue. It'd be awesome if it had the black rear sail panels and bumper valence cover there, but um, I don't think they did that until 2009. Um, as you can see, tips are pretty dirty right now. They're stainless as well. This one over here really gets black for some reason and this one doesn't. Um, again, I don't know why that is, but that's how it works. Um, again, this car hasn't been started for about a week. So we'll uh, start it up here. For you guys, and you can hear what it sounds like. So yeah, it's kind of got that low burble to it. I like it. It sounds pretty cool. It's kind of... It definitely doesn't sound ricey or anything like that. It does drone on the highway when you're in sixth gear, though, which is kind of annoying. So... I mean, we haven't really driven too many with, with stock exhaust on them, but... The Magnaflow does drone on the highway, um, but it does have a little bass, you know what I mean? It's nothing like a, I guess a WRX or whatever. I, I'm not really big up on the import scene, so I don't really know a lot about that kind of stuff, but, um, you know, it's, it sounds kind of cool. It's its own unique sound. I mean, it's a four-cylinder, so it's going to sound how it's going to sound. Muffers. And they're rusting, like everything else does around here. So it's actually a pretty expensive cat back. I mean, we didn't put it on, but I believe those are like almost two grand. These little um, 1.6, I believe they're, I believe they're made by Peugeot, but I, I could be wrong about that. Or maybe Renault or something like that. But they do. They're noisy little buggers, especially when they're cold. You're funded by you, our listeners, and by Plymouth Rock Assurance. I'm going to make a fool out of myself and try to open the hood on this thing. can never figure it out. Oh, got it for a time. Do you hear that little... Almost sounds like a knocking noise. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. But it's, uh, and then you, of course you got some kind of lifters. Well, actually this is probably overhead cam. So you have some kind of valve tap or something going on, I don't know. Um, but that low, like, rattly, I'm pretty sure that that's the, uh, something to do in here with the timing. 
for the cams, the tensioner. I heard those lights that make a lot of racket. But yeah, that's just how they are. Still under warranty, so I'm not going to worry about it. It's a tidy little turbo. <laughs> All right, here we'll put you guys back here and give it a little. Again, I'm not going to go and, you know, revving this thing all up because it is still pretty cold. But, um, that's the Cooper. Plunk, 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 plunk. They're actually supposed to put this motor in for 2012. That motor was supposed to go into the Saab 9.3. I think it might have been a little underpowered in that heavy car, but this thing with the turbo, it actually scoots pretty good. But of course, Saab went uh, belly up, so. Alright guys, um, that's a Mini Cooper Clubman S 1.6 turbo with the Magnaflow stainless steel catback exhaust system.